Welcome to shallow waters where we're not afraid to admit that swimming in the same deep water as you is hard. Well, today I started organizing some of my makeup and I think I have too much of it, which is an interesting thing. Hi, my name is Lauren. I'm about to turn 45 and I have a shit ton of makeup. <laughs> I'm trying to organize it. There's more. Most of that's skincare, but some of it's makeup. So I thought I would try some of the things that I either don't use very often or perhaps haven't tried yet and just do something a little bit different today. So I hope you'll come join me while I play with some new goodies and some refound goodies in my drawers. So I've just prepped my skin with some hyaluronic acid serum and some sunscreen. That's all that I have on right now. I am going to start with the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer, mainly because one of my friends was asking me about it. She'd seen it in one of my recent videos and was inquiring. A little goes a long, long way with this. It's easy to overuse and it seems to be very powerful stuff. And it feels very much like a moisture cream it starts out very white and seems to magically change into skin tone. That's probably like 30,000 times too much. And there's still just as much in there. It's amazing. And I will just rub that in. So my friend Teddy is in the shower. When I started organizing my makeup, he was actually upstairs watching Forrest Gump. And then he fell asleep. And so I thought maybe I would do something productive and fun. And I started this project. But then as I was playing with all the makeup, or I should say putting it all away, I was like, I want to play with it. I don't want to just move it all around. It really does just do amazing things if you want to just look a little more put together and don't feel like putting on a whole bunch of makeup. Next, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I'm only gonna use a tiny bit. It looks like a pencil eraser. It's the cutest little thing. Oh, big doe foot. And this is just a little bit more yellow than I am. So I use it very sparingly. And that's something we can talk about. It's not one of the big heavy topics that come up in some of my videos, but skin tone, what's yours? I can tell you that I think I'm a neutral. And the reason why I say that is that things tend to be either too yellow or too pink, but even the neutral things tend to be too yellow or too pink. Um, <laughs> I think I'm a bit of a, tricky wicket because I have a lot of redness in my face from the rosacea. But then my natural skin tone, which I don't know if you can see it at all, like here, <laughs> um, has a lot of olive in it, even though I'm very fair. That's the Eastern European side of me. Um, so I'm kind of like green with a red overtone. <laughs> this is a really strange thing to be. Um, but as you can see, this is very yellow compared to my face. So I don't use a lot of it. So next up, I'm actually going to just use the BB cream from Pharmacy. I got this from Kelsey Boston. I will put a link to her website if you'd like. And this one is in light to medium. So it's a little bit darker. And I am just going to put a small amount of that just over my face for a subtle amount of coverage and glow. And again, it is a BB cream. That tends to be my favorite level of coverage is, you know, that light, possibly light to medium. I'm not a full coverage, full glam kind of girl. 
but I'm also not a completely like natural don't wear makeup kind of girl either. I'm not sure what I'd consider my look. I do like makeup, but I just like the makeup that I like. I like to play with some fun things, have a little drama now and then, but also, you know, look like a human being most of the time. <laughs> At the same time, I like a little glitz and glam. It's fun. So hopefully I did that well enough. Let me check in this mirror. It doesn't look bad. I could use a little more under eye coverage, but I'll do that at the end. I think out in the car is the rest of my makeup bag. <laughs> you can tell how important it was to me that I left it there. Yeah, you can see this how pink my little hands are even. So I don't have any eye primer with me right now. So I might just take a powder, I think. This is the e.l.f. Perfect HD finishing powder. I had this before, but Teddy ate it. So I waited a little while, but then I finally dared to repurchase. So here we are. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. But have no fear, because I have my Sigma fancy brushes here. This is an under eye powdering brush. Let me just call it a day with the under eyes. And just say they're good enough. That may have been just enough coverage anyway. I'll use that on the eye. I think it's a good shape for the eyelid as well, even though it was made for under eyes. So there's a little powder on my eyes, so there's something for the eyeshadow to stick to. And I'm sticking it back in the box. I generally, for the first month or so of having something new, keep it in the box in the hopes that that will mean it'll last longer. So this is a Wet n Wild palette. I couldn't resist it. It says Rosé in the air, and I really wanted to try these pinky red shades. I don't quite have the right brush, because, well, a lot of my things are out in the car. But I will try to work with the ones that I found that are already in the bathroom. If worst comes to worst, I have a nice brush in one of my palettes I can pull out. More of a lid, lid brush. Let's try that with the redder one. This is definitely not the right brush for this kind of eyeshadow. I generally have really great luck with Wet n Wild, even though it is incredibly low priced and often can be found at the Dollar Tree. I, think I actually saw another brush down there. That might be better, but this is my favorite Urban Decay Naked palette. Naked Cyber. I just want to play with this anyway. It's so good. It's so shiny. But I'll just take the brush. And I'll set the palette aside. Because my head... I hope I didn't break it. And then I'm going to take more of this one and get my mirror and just try to blend this out a little bit more. For a nice wash of color. Ooh, I'm actually really liking that. And a little bit more. Oh my. Okay, I'm definitely feeling the vibe. Now I'm gonna go save my palette. Oh 
no, it broke. Maybe I can push it back in. Look at those duo crumbs. That's why I keep them in the box. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. <sighs> Sometimes sad things happen. It's okay. Ooh. I just had a thought. A very interesting thought. I have no idea if this will work. Hopefully I'll be able to I don't know if you can see that, but it is like a silvery brown. It's called Master Precise Metallic in the color Stellar Sand. I don't know if you can see the color. It's sort of like a silvery gold. Just put a little bit more of Kelsey's BB cream on. Just the teeniest little dot. And today I'm going to use the She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Bronzer. I do not keep this in my makeup bag anymore because it leaks, but it looks amazing. have a nice foundation brush here. I love what foundation brushes do for bronzer. This isn't a cool color, so it's more of a contour color. Moving on to blushiness, the Jones Road Miracle Bomb in Flushed, which I think will go really well with, I know people always dig their fingernails in that in the commercial and I do think you have to do that almost because it's very, very, very natural looking. I'm like rubbing it like crazy just to get an amount that I can put on. It's the opposite of a lot of other cream products I have that are highly pigmented. This one's very sheer, which is beautiful. You don't have to be light handed with it to look good. That is the Jones Road Miracle Bomb. I think it's so pretty. Very pricey. Not sure if it's worth the price. I have actually, actually, let me get it out just to do a comparison. I have some monochromatic multi sticks from e.l.f. that I suspect will be very similar. This one in Sparkling Rose really could complement, I think, the look I'm going for. Maybe I'll put a little more on the high part of my cheek. It's definitely a little more dramatic than the, the Jones Road. I think what I'll do is use actually my beauty blender to blend it out. And I say beauty blender, I'm 90% sure this is an elf sponge because I'm an elf girl. I love elf. I like their price point. I like their name. I like the quality of their products. Um, yeah. So is this a dupe for that? 
not really, but they give you a similar effect. This you have to be a little more light handed with. This is probably something that will last me my entire life. It's like a thing of beeswax. <laughs> it's really quite intense. This, on the other hand, will probably last me six months and it'll be gone. So very different products. But they're also incredibly different price points. I want to say this was, I'm going to guess like around $40. It was kind of crazy. Whereas this, I think, was either $4 or $6. I hit low battery and the filming stopped. So, so I have a couple of new brow products. I have this Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in Cool Brown. This is the same pencil I've been using forever, but it's in a darker color. So that is one option. And then I also have Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil in taupe. Oh, so I'm thinking just on a whim, since I have the darker one from e.l.f. and a darker one from Wet n Wild, I will start with the lighter one from Wet n Wild. This is the taupe. And as you can see, it's got this really strange shaped um, pencil end. It's like shaped like a triangle. The fact that I was so baffled by the word triangle is kind of scary. So I'm going to start with the tail of my eyebrow. Now I did put eyebrow wax on earlier today and it still seems to be going strong. So I may have to change my plans a bit here because this is not seeming to want to budge. This behaves quite differently when there is wax on your brow. This is so interesting where my eyebrow is very... Hi, you excited about what's cooking in the microwave? Hi. Yeah? Hi. <laughs> this is really fascinating. I don't know if I will do it in that order ever again. That, I wouldn't have even thought there would still be so much left in there. This has changed the game. <laughs> I'm back and now I'm gonna try, hopefully, to do the more precise lines with the e.l.f. Ultra Precise. And you can see this one's teeny tiny. And this is the pencil I tend to use the most. It's just, I usually buy it in a different color. But I find that it really allows you to write to write, to write, <laughs> to write in your brows, real small, fine. It seems to behave better with the wax than the Wet n Wild did. Again, elf for the win. All right, so I don't mind that it's a little bit darker. All right, so I think I'm going to now use a mascara. I have some new ones to play with. Oops, I'm dropping stuff. I have the te Telescopic Carbon Black. I think I'm gonna try this. And I'm literally opening it up. This is the coolest, it really looks like a telescope. It's the cute, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks just like a real telescope. It's like got the telescope, like it should have a lens right here. That is so cool. Oh, what a fine, fine wand. Let's see what happens. See, I have no eyelashes to start. And yes, when you put on mascara, you do have to open your mouth and look stupid. Okay, this, 
I don't know if you can see it, is getting kind of impressive and I haven't even done it for very long. I haven't even popped it back in the tube yet. Are you gonna have your food? Who's at my driveway door? Oh, there really was somebody at the door. It was my dad. He brought me dish soap and more dish soap. <laughs> you gotta love a good dad. So now we're gonna try the other side. because I think while I was out there talking to my dad, it started to dry up. This is quite incredible. This tiny little wand. I don't know if you see that. I don't know if you see what I see, but I usually have zero eyelashes. So they've almost brought me up to like normal size eyelashes. Whoa, okay. I will definitely be trying this telescopic carbon black by L'Oreal again. That, I'm sorry, that, that, that was something else. That was unexpected. I've never really heard anybody talk about that. I had, I just had a coupon. <laughs> That's how that came to be. So, wow, okay. Now I've got two different lip crayons I wanna try here. This one's the Burt B Burt Burt's Bees Matte Lip Crayon in Sedona Sands. Isn't that pretty? And then this is the Ulta Beauty OMG Gloss Stick in Oh Mon Dieu, which means oh my god. Which is pretty funny because it's the OMG <laughs> and oh mon dieu <laughs> in French. Oh my god, in French. <laughs> oh mon. All right, let's see. How about I do this one on the top? Subtle, subtle, Glostic, you are subtle. Sedona Sands, now this is a matte color. A little bit brownier, but not that different. I could go out like this and nobody would come up to me and say, your lips are two different colors. And I'll put the gloss over it. And makeup, you can see I got some of it on my scalp. That's okay. I'm going to scrunch out the crunch with a little Curlsmith bonding oil. Apparently I must like this stuff because I'm half out. Look at that. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Get nice and warm. I'm going to start at the bottom, just scrunch the ends a little bit, that way we don't get a lot of oil on the roots, but now I'm going to fluff out my roots. Now I'm 
dancing to imaginary Rick Astley songs. <laughs> Never gonna give you up. Okay. <laughs> you don't need to hear it too, do you? I don't need to Rickroll you. I just love fluffing my hair. All right. So there we go. There is my look for a Saturday. I'm going to spend the rest of the day at home, so I guess I really didn't need a fancy look. And I have a fancy Hanes t-shirt on and fancy black leggings <laughs> and slippers. <laughs> so thanks for coming to my makeup video. I didn't really talk about anything important today. Oh, I'm turning 45 on Tuesday. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Shallow Waters. Join us again, like and subscribe. And hope that you join us on the next adventure. <laughs>